Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Romanian District Mathematical Olympiad for 12th graders, 2023, problem number 1. Let f be a function from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2, compact inf interval into set of real numbers. Let it be a twice differentiable function which satisfies this inequality for all x is between minus pi over 2 and pi, pi over 2, strictly. We wish to prove that in the integral from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2 of f of x sine of x dx is greater than or equal pi minus 2. It's a nice problem to be given to 12 graders. Uh, here are my hints. First, Notice that cosine is positive on the whole interval from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2. Crucially, consider the following function. Phi of x equals f of x sine of x plus cosine of x and differentiate it twice and see what you get. Remember that function which is twice differentiable is convex convex if and only if its second derivative is non-negative. And crucially, the most important part is the Jensen's inequality in the integral form, which states that if phi is a convex function and if g is integrable, then we have the following inequality. Phi of the length of the integral of the interval of integration times integral of a and b from a to b of g of x is less than or equal 1 over the length of an interval of integration times integ integral from a to b of phi composed with g of x dx. It will be crucial for my proof. So give this problem a try and I will see you in just a minute. Okay, so as I suggested, uh, let's first take our condition asterisk and let's multiply it by cosine so multiply both sides by cosine of x we can do it because it's positive it's a positive number we get second derivative of x of f of x minus f of x tangent times cosine is sine plus 2 times derivative of f times cosine of x is greater, oh, let's put minus cosine of x is greater than or equal 0. Let's remember it for a moment. And now I wish to consider, crucially, let phi of x be f of x sine of x plus cosine of x, where our x's are between minus pi over 2 and pi over 2. I wish to differentiate it twice, so let's do it. My first derivative, using product rule, it's f prime of x sine of x plus f of x cosine of x plus the derivative of cosine is minus sine. Okay, and let's differentiate it again. Uh, well, we have a second derivative of f times sine of x, product rule, plus derivative of f, derivative of sine is cosine, plus derivative of f times cosine, minus f of x, derivative of cosine is minus sine, so we have minus f of x sine of x, derivative of minus sine is minus cosine. And we can write it in the following way. f double prime of x minus f of x times sine of x plus 2 times f prime of x cosine of x minus cosine of x. Does it look familiar? It should because it's the left-hand side of our inequality which I mark double, double asterisk. 
So now we know that it's greater than or equal zero by our condition double asterisk, which means that our function phi is convex. That implies that phi is convex. It's convex. It's convex on minus pi over 2, pi over 2. We can safely close both sides because, well, we know that this inequality holds on the open interval, but our function is continuous. So our function must be convex on the entire interval. Very well. Very, very well. And now it's time to use Jensen's inequality. So let, let g of x be just equal to x. Notice by Jensen's inequality, by Jensen's inequality, which I have stated at the beginning of my video, phi of, uh, what's the length of, of integration? Well, we are integrating from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2. So it's pi of uh, 1 over pi integral from minus pi over 2, pi over 2 of uh, g of x dx. Well, this is... Uh, this is, we need to get inequality in the right uh, direction. I always forget it. So, but it is less than or equal the length of, one over length of uh, integral interval of integration minus pi over 2, to pi over 2, pi of g of x dx. It's probably like that. And now let's plug in numbers. Well, here we have integral from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2 of x dx. We are integrating uh, an odd function over symmetric interval, so this is 0. So on the left-hand side, we have pi of 0 is less than or equal. We can multiply by pi. It's less than or equal integral from zero from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2 of phi g of x is just x so it's of phi of x okay and now let's put in phi what is phi well phi was defined to be f of x times sine of x plus cosine of x so it's f of 0 sine of 0 plus cosine of 0. It's less than or equal integral from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2. f of x sine of x plus cosine of x dx. Very well. And now... What do we have? On the left-hand side, we have sine of 0, but sine of 0 is 0. Cosine of 0 is 1. So here we have pi. And here we can split our integral on the left, on the right-hand side into two integral, integrals, yes. Integral of f of x sine of x dx plus integral from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2 cosine of x dx. And what is uh, this integral? It's pretty easy to see that it's sine evaluated from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2. This happens to be just 2. Just 2. Yes. And that means that we can uh, subtract 2 from both sides and we get our final result. Pi minus 2 is less than or equal integral from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2 f of x sine of x dx and that is exactly what we wanted because let's take a look at our 
theorem, yes, it's exactly what we wanted to prove, that our integral is greater than or equal pi minus 2. And that closes our proof. QED. Very nice problem. Jensen's inequality is very useful. In general, if you see some integral inequality and you see some inequality with second derivative, it's probably having something to do with convex or concave functions. And don't get the direction of Jensen's inequality wrong. It's if our function is convex, inequality is in one direction. If it is concave, it's in the other direction. You have to learn it or find some way to remember it. That's it. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.